i hope you are well i hope you're doing great in the lord um it's good to be back here again yeah it's been a, a while but i thank god for this opportunity had missed you and uh, i thank god that i am back uh that we may hear what the lord has in store for us i have noted something um I'm really sorry you haven't been saying my name please forgive me it's not being ignorant it's not taking you for granted uh, please forgive me i'll try my best um from today i'll be saying my my, my, my name uh so my name is lilian wanjiko kengati those are my that's my full name all right lilian wanjiko kengati i'm born again christ is the lord um yeah and i thank god for this opportunity and this um i had i have actually never said the name of this channel uh so the name of the channel is uh, the balm of gilead or balm of gilead and I thank God for, for this uh, uh, teaching or our previous uh, discussion. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for this hour. Thank you for gathering us here today to listen to your word. Spirit of the Lord, would you magnify the Lord in this? Would you glorify the Son, King of all glory, to the glory and honor of God's name? I pray, Jehovah Master, that you will come and have your way. Speak to us, minister to your child, in the mighty name of Jesus, each one of them, my God. Meet them at the point of their needs, O oh, Father. We open up our hearts to you that may speak unto us. Use me, O oh God, as your vessel and as a vessel of honor, Jehovah. Lord, I cover this word with the blood of Jesus, King of all glory. And I pray that your children will receive it, O oh God, and it shall be hidden in their hearts, my Father. And it shall be a foot in the might and name of Jesus. Be glorified, O oh God. This is to the glory and to the honor of your name. In Jesus' name we do pray, trust, and believe. Amen, amen, and amen. So our word for today. Let me just, uh, I'm going to highlight some few, some few things before we get into the word for today. Um, on 18th, I had a kind of uh, fun, a fun time in, in, in a dream. Um, I had a dream. I really don't know why God shared this with me. Um, wasn't sure whether it is for just for your information, you know, uh, or maybe he wanted me to share or something. But uh, I'll just, um, it was a very short dream. Um, I was with my dad and with my mom, uh, and those who've been here for a long while, you know, uh, I have shared dreams about, um, you know, family, and mostly, most of them have been about, about church. So on 18th, the body of Christ or church, uh, on 18th, I had this dream, and we were on a very uh, busy road. We were walking, I, mom, and uh, dad. Um, dad was walking really quickly, very quickly, like very fast. Mommy couldn't uh, keep up with the pace, but I could, yeah. I, a child of them, I could keep up with the pace. Uh, and it reached a, a point whereby we stopped and now to wait for mommy. And then um, I asked daddy in a very funny way, laughing very like it was coming out of the heart, you know. Uh, why are you making mommy to run like a man, you know. In our language that would uh, sound really funny. But that was the dream actually, that was the dream. Yes, and um, I feel this about, you know, that transitioning and... Uh, I'm not going to interpret, um, but I feel it's about, uh, you know, the transitioning and, and all that. And congratulations to them that have transitioned, you know, ministry-wise and uh, and also uh, family, uh, I mean, um, you know, personal life. Congratulations to them. Yeah, and then on 15th, on 15th, um, I, I saw something. I, I really can't call that a dream, but I got startled. I was asleep and then got startled and then I never woke up, but I saw a very uh, sharp light you know sharp light and uh to my surprise i was actually noting that um this morning this morning to my surprise um i had this i saw this thing uh the first uh, few hours of the night you know and then i um, woke up at around 12 uh and then uh reading i i read uh, proverbs 4 18 and that said i hadn't connected all these um uh, the path of a righteous is like the morning sun shining ever brighter till the full light of the day and then some of the light a bright light they are very connected what i want to say is god is bringing clarity yes god is bringing clarity to that confused uh, or that confusing situation he's bringing clarity and i feel this is about the matters of heart you know the matters of um just to put it out there as it is you know matters of heart and love and all that because i felt these at heart you know i got started and then i never woke up and so the lord is bringing clarity in that situation actually oh my god thank you holy spirit yesterday as i was really did, uh thinking and seeking the lord about this uh the light thing and whether truly i was i am supposed to share because i even never i never noted down normally i would note down the dream or something uh, i never noted down this i did not put uh, this into my note uh, notes 
So I was like, uh, when was this? And then I remember this Okada, that same hour or that same day that I received this, or God brought my attention, Proverbs 4, 18. And then I know I started connecting. So I was, when I was looking for that, um, something appeared on the screen of my phone, you know, talking about light, light shining. Anyway, I never, I, I didn't um, follow that, but I knew God wanted me to share because that to me was a confirmation. So the Lord is bringing clarity. The Lord is bringing a, a clarity in that confusing situation. He's giving strength and he's giving hope. There is hope. That situation is under, it's just, uh, it's not going to, uh, to just, uh, be there like that god is going to bring you clarity he's going to clarify things and there is hope there is hope there is hope do not die hard do not give up do not uh, you know give up on god he's going to give you um clarity so that is it and then now connecting um not to the word, all right? Um, we were talking about battles last, uh, the last time we talked, uh, we talked about battles that, that God is going to wage, uh, he's going to contend for us, he's going to uh, to vindicate our case. And let me tell you, well, for the last, uh, those two weeks, it hasn't been easy. The Lord, uh, the devil has been attacking uh, me from all side, my family, you know, friends, myself. It, it's, it hasn't been an easy, an easy uh, walk, but I thank God. Thank you for them that have been praying with me and for them that are also Pray, pray uh, for this for this channel. So um, I need you to note that when uh, we are talking about uh, the the battle, the enemy is never happy because we are fighting him, you know, and we do not fight against our flesh and blood. It is against principalities and uh, rulers of darkness and all that. And I need you to note something. So when I said that, my my, my young my young brother got um, he got a bite by a dog. He got bitten by a dog guess where at the head or on the head that was really weird to us but i knew immediately when when mommy told me that it was this an attack yeah because that that week it was a week of uh, tarring in the presence of god and this is also is connected to that and so uh on 18 the morning i woke up and i started making declaration 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 about uh, you know family uh, my future my my family in future and all those things you know my children will be these uh these and these will happen to them no matter what happened to the uh in our past uh, our past um you know, our family life, you know, the generational thing, that eight in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I receive a, a call from a servant of God. And this servant of God, it's it's not someone who we are close to. Actually, it's from, uh, you know, the countryside where we here in Kenya, we see Shago, um, where I am born. And they started making declaration, you know. Uh, we are not even close. They are not my uh, my spiritual um, authority uh, at home, all right? Uh so they said making declaration i'm like okay and then he said or they said uh, i'm not just talking i have been given this message by god all right so it was talking about the generational thing remember what happened in the morning talking about the generational thing and the following morning um so i was like uh is this really mass message for me and then i was like no it is it is for me surely because god, the lord gave uh, gave them a direct word for me and then the following morning Remember, I'm, I'm there like, uh, is it, is it not? I receive this devotional that was talking about receiving prophetic instruction. I was like, okay, God, thank you. I have heard. It is okay. It is well. It is okay. And then still on um, 18th, uh, the Lord dropped um, this word, Jehovah Sabaoth. And Jehovah Sabaoth, I didn't know what it meant. I sincerely had to go and Google. It is the God of armies the god of armies and so uh, that whole week i wasn't really sure whether to come out here and share this word but the lord was really he was on it so so much about these generational things you know making declaration you know the god of armies the god of uh, battles the god who who fights battles and then um he was talking about uh, the story of Jacob, you know. You remember the story of Jacob. Wow, well, I, I will not follow my, my notes. I'll just flow as, as it comes. The story of Jacob, uh, if you can follow closely and very clean, cleanly, you would know that there was in the lineage, there was a lot of lies. Jacob was blessed, but he had to lie for him to be blessed. All right. He had to lie for him to be blessed. And please note, this is about tarrying in the presence of God. This is about seeking the Lord. The Lord um, was also ministering to me that it is time. It is time for some of you 
to receive their blessings. It is time for some of you to receive that which the Lord has promised to you. It is time for you to conquer, to get that mountain. Yes, we said, give me th this mountain. The word says that, give me this mountain, you know, Joshua and Caleb. It is time for some of you to get that. But you know what? The enemy is not going to allow you to just have that peacefully. peacefully. No, he's not going to allow you to have it. Never has it ever happened like uh, you just sit there and allow anyone. I mean, he, he fights everything that God has. He's, he fights everything that God has for his children. And therefore, the Lord is encouraging us. Fight that battle. Dealing especially with the generational issues. Yes, I've never talked about generational issues here. I've never talked about generational, you know, bloodline issues. But that is what the Lord has been ministering to me regarding. So the story of Jacob, the father, the grandfather, you know, Abraham, Isaac. And here Jacob is, he had to lie for him to be blessed. Finally, he was blessed by the father. But then we can see he really wrestled with God or with the angel of the Lord for him to be blessed. Let us read that. He really, uh, he really uh, did uh, in the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 32, verse 22, it says, I'm just uh, going to start from where? Let me just uh, read the direct ones and then I'll, I'll put everything that is in the book of 24. I'm going to put everything at the description box. And Jacob was left alone. He made sure that everybody had moved on the other side. You know, he was leaving uh, 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 this uh, Laban's place. And then uh, when he was crossing on the other side, um, he made sure everybody was on the other side and then he was left alone. Then what happened? And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. 25. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, when this man saw that he could not prevail against Jacob or this angel couldn't prevail against Jacob, he touched the hollow of his thigh. Now that is kind of painful, really painful. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. It was disconnected. And he wrestled with him, 26, and he said, let me go for the day breaketh. So see, he, he never wanted to be seen by, uh, by people, by the passersby. And he said, I will not let you go. Ooh, shalabaganda. Are you going to let that blessing go? I will not let you go except thou bless me. And um, he was blessed. Yeah, if you continue from the book of uh, Genesis 32, 26, he was blessed and his name was changed from uh, uh, Jacob to Israel. What am I saying here? The, what I'm saying here is Jacob knew he was blessed. He was blessed by the, fire, the father, wasn't he? When the, uh, he, he exchanged, uh, Esau, uh, exchanged his birthright with uh, Jacob and, you know, from uh, there things started falling. And then uh, um, uh, Isaac was, uh, was uh, I mean, not Isaac, Esau was uh, asked to, to bring some, uh, you know, the, the favorite meal. Or just to bring uh, some meat for his for his dad, and then Jacob. Oh my God! You know Jacob was blessed, uh, or God loved Jacob from birth. And here he went ahead, and uh, you know he cooked the meal for the for the father, and then the father blessed him. And you can imagine, you already know that you are blessed. But then you had to fight for this blessing again. So Jacob fought really for his blessing, no matter what was happening uh, in his past life. And the word, um, the, the Lord was really impressing in me so much that some of you are going to get your blessing for the very first time in your family. Some of you, are none of your family members have ever been promoted. Some of you, none of your family members have ever wedded. Some of you, you do not have a... Um, you know, a male child or a, a female child in your in your family, you know, that uh, the small nuclear family or something. Some of you, you're getting that blessing for the very first time. And so you're fighting, you're fighting a battle that has never been fought in your family. Praise the Lord. I hope somebody is catching this. Uh, you're fighting a, a battle that has never been fought in your family. So you are the one. And so you need to travel. You need to fight at the place of prayer. Child of God, do not allow the enemy to, uh, uh, to weigh you down, to discourage you, to, uh, uh, you know, to, to bring you down. Just keep on fighting. Jehovah Sabaoth, he is the, the God of our armies. We say that he is fighting our battles, that he is vindicating for us, that he is going to win. And the best thing is we fight from the point of victory. We are more than conquerors. So I encourage you today, child of God. Uh, you can go and read Psalm 102, 13, that it is time for him to favor us. It is your time. But are you going to fight for your blessing? Time for God to show mass. It is a time for the Lord to fight your battle and to vindicate your case. And uh, Deuteronomy also he brought this very heavily. Deuteronomy chapter 6, that he is giving you all oh my, this, I couldn't believe. Well, I have, ever, I, have, I have actually ever shared this word here again. But this came with a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of weight. That he is giving you houses you never built. He's giving you cisterns or, uh, you know, um, pits or places of water. 
um, he's giving you places full of good things, which goodly cities, which you are thou not buildest. Good things, which uh, he's giving you wells, cisterns, you never dug. He's giving you lands, vineyard, you never planted. So tell me what that is. And that favor. It is time for God to show favor to you. But are you going to fight for that blessing? Are you going to travel at the place of prayer? Can you imagine just him sending somebody to come and tell me that? And then here in the morning, and then confirms his word. Please, child of God, take this very seriously. You need to fight for your blessing. You need to travel, stay at the place of prayer. Because it is time for your blessing. But the enemy is not going to allow you to just receive it. In the book of Matthew, I think 11, 12, it says, From the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God, he suffers the violence and the violent katala baba shanda matthew 12 matthew 11 12 from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven has been subjected to violence and the violent lay claim to eat you know the lord opened my eyes yesterday as i was preparing this and i read something the kingdom of god suffers violence and violence uh, violence take it by force and then uh, an amplified uh, classic edition version says and from the days of john the baptist until the present time now the kingdom of heaven has endured a violent assault and violent men says it capture it get hold of it the kingdom of god by force as a precious prize a share Oh, Kayanda, in the heavenly kingdom is sought with most ardent zeal. Are you going to put that ardent zeal? You know, we pray. No, this is where the Lord opened my eyes. We pray. Our Father who is at in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Yeah, thy kingdom come. So, even when the kingdom of God is coming, you have to fight for it you have to get hold of it by force and by force it's not by fighting men by force it is not you know doing things that are not right by force it is traveling and staying at the place of prayer fighting for that blessing you know uh, uh, it is it is sought with most ardent zeal that zeal and an ex an end sorry an intense exertion so even when the kingdom of God is coming, that kingdom, the men who are zealous, the men who are, you know, who, 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 um, what is the word? Who are violent and it is in the place of, of prayer. They are them that are going to capture the kingdom. Are you going to travel at the place of prayer? Child of God, do not give up. This, it is your time. And of course, this, it's not for everyone, but because you know, you know it, it is, you know the word? Somebody told me sometimes back that uh, when a word comes to you, it comes to confirm something that you already have in your spirit, you know? So you know yourself, all right? You know yourself and it is okay to just go ahead and, you know, uh, test the spirit like I was, you know, doubting, is it, is it not? It is good and it is right to test the spirit. Any word that comes to you, whether teaching, prophecy or anything. It is good to test the spirit. So child of God, do not give up on your blessing. You have to be violent at the place of prayer, fighting for uh, for your blessing. And I said, and I'm going to repeat this, some of you are receiving your blessing for the very first time in your family, in your lineage, but the enemy is not going to allow you because you are fighting a battle that has never been fought in your family. You are fighting a battle that no one, no one in your family has ever engaged in such a battle. And this is in terms of prayer. Praise the Lord. So the challenges that come with that, you're facing them for the very first first time anything that comes with that you're facing it for the very first time and because the enemy the enemy never wants anyone to you know the kingdom of god to come even here on earth hallelujah he never wants that he's not going to allow you to just receive it whole uh or peace, peacefully if you may because that is that is just him so you go you first disconnect yourself disconnect yourself from generational issues you know uh, lose yourself from such anything that you feel there is a tie that could be causing the enemy to get hold of it and use it use it as a legal ground fight at the place of prayer like jacob did he fought you know even he knew that he was blessed you know it is your time for your blessing but then what are you just going to sit there and just wait for your blessing because when you just sit there and wait for your blessing it may not come because the enemy you remember the story of David when he prayed and then the king I hadn't even brought that so I'm going to look for the for the for the for the chapter and the verse. Uh the king over the king of Persia, you know, get hold of his answers in the air. They were already God had already released the answers. So even to some of you, 
your answers are already been released but then what the enemy is fighting that and he's probably using generational thing because this is what the lord really did put and he confirmed with his servant he's using that as a legal ground for you not to get hold of your blessing so child of god i love the story of elijah in the first in the first king in the book of first kings around 17 18 when you read the book of uh, 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 the story of elijah he said that it is not i'm just paraphrasing i'm going to read that that it is not going to rain until i say so oh my god i was like gosh this guy knew really who he was until i say so it is not going to rain go to chapter 18 around uh, verse 1 he says not really verse 1 18 so ahab went up to eat and drink 42 so it is around uh 40 what 42 yeah you can read a 40 42 around them so after that, after Elijah declaring it's not going to rain in 17, in 18, he tells Ahabot that it is going to rain. But then what happened? He knew it is after my word. It is after I have spoken. But he had to travel at the place of prayer. He went up. 41. And Elijah said unto Ahab, get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a, a sound of abundance rain. So Ahab went up. So let's read 45. First Kings eighteen forty five. First Kings eighteen forty five. Well, first forty five, and it came to pass in the meantime that the heaven was black with clouds. Okay, uh, let me read forty two. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, Mount Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees and did what. He was traveling at the place of prayer. Please read First Kings 17. He said, Now Elijah, the Tishbite from Tishbe or Tishbe or something, in Gilead, said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years, except at my word. And the next few years passes passes by, and eighteen comes chapter of uh, to, uh, of Kings first, and he says, "You go eat and drink. There is going to rain." But then he did what? You know what happened? He sent his servant, I think, seven times. Elisha, he he sent him seven times to go check: is there some clouds? Is there is there anything? Are there changes of the weather or something? Seven times, just seated there, traveling, and you can hear what happened. I wish I could I could demonstrate that. You know, sitting down and putting your head between your knees, praying, sending your servant go check, and then he comes no, go check, and then he comes no, and then the last time, the first time I read this, I, I kind of laughed. He saw um, a cloud, a size of a, uh, a size of a, is it a fist or something? This hand of mine. Uh, yeah, like a, a, a hand of a man, you know? And so what I'm trying to say is, you need to travel at the place of prayer. Even when you are assured of your blessing, it is time for your blessing. Yes, it is time. But you need to travel at that place of prayer. You need to pray hard. You need to disconnect yourself with anything or from anything that could be hindering your blessing in Jesus' name. You must disconnect yourself, lose yourself, make those declarations. If you have to make those declarations about your family, about your marriage, about your job, cover your blessings with the blood of Jesus and declare that your blessings must reach to you or you will receive them wholly packaged as the Lord has purposed or had purposed in the heavens that the king of Pasha is not going to have a place he's not going to capture your blessing that you're going to receive them as the Lord had purposed in the heavens so you need to travel at the place of prayer fight at the place of prayer Elijah did fight we have seen uh, the story of Jacob he wrestled with the Lord or with the angel of the Lord and so the word of God oh shalabagan the, the, the Lord has just been has has dropped something that some of us we receive even prophetic word you know um you receive that promissory note or that promissory card and then when the law doesn't do it well doesn't let me just put it that way you start blaming and you say you know that the lord is not true or that that prophecy wasn't right or you know uh that prophet is a false prophet but you know what when the elisha gave elisha gave some instruction to our king and he told him that you're supposed to throw your arrows. Yes, you're supposed to throw your arrows. Arrows. And he never told him how many times he's going to do that or how many times he was supposed to do that. But he just told him, throw the arrows. And then this man, king, decided I'm going to throw three times only. 
And then after throwing three times only, Elisha was really angry with this man because you never followed instruction. Some of us, you're given instruction, like personally I was told, pray. You need to pray. You need to disconnect yourself from every tie, from every generational issue, generational curses. You need to disconnect yourself. But he never told me until what you, what or when you're supposed to pray. Until what, what time, when you're supposed to stop declaring, you know, disconnecting yourself. So some of us, we pray once, we pray twice, we pray for a week, we pray for a month, but you haven't received your blessing yet and then you just stop doing the inst as per the instruction had said or had mentioned. So this man, he that, me that meant that he could only win against the enemy three times because he threw or he, yeah, he threw the arrows or he shot the arrows only three times. But the the prophet of the Lord, that is Elisha, had not told him the many times he was supposed to do that. So some of us, we receive instruction, but then how do we receive instruction? For today only, for now only, for this week only, for the prayer um for, for the prayer time only you are supposed to do that until you get hold of your blessing you got to travel at the place of prayer child of god travel at the place of prayer and i hope somebody is getting the weight of this matter you need to you are a rest assured of your blessing because the word of god will never lie the word of god is true the lord is true the lord is faithful and he was ministering to me that uh, you, his faithfulness is never dependent on your faithfulness he is faithful even when you are not faithful but i'm not telling you not to be faithful you need to be faithful even at that place of prayer you need to travel you need to fight you need to wage war you need to pray and guard your blessing guard your blessing yes until you get hold of your blessing it's not you, you you don't have a license to stop praying for it yes please child of god i hope somebody is getting is getting hold of this it is not a prophet uh, a prophetic word is not it wasn't right it is not a, that uh, the word of god is wrong it is not that the word of god is not uh, true it is our less responsibility for us to pray pray until you get hold of your blessing child of god it is your time yes it is rest assured it is your time and you know yourselves you know you know yourself because you can feel it in your spirit it is your time the time for you uh, for your blessing has come but are you going to fight for it at the place of prayer you need to wrestle you need to wrestle. And I said, some of you are receiving your blessings for the very first time because they are generational issues. You need to deal with that. Please deal with them. Deal with them as the, uh, the Spirit of the Lord is going to lead you. Deal with them as the Spirit of the Lord is going to minister to you and as He is going to give you instructions. You know, last time I said, I never thought that this would apply to me. I said, if the Lord leads you to pray, if He gives you instructions to pray, pray at the place of, uh, at the place of prayer, do that. If he gives instruction to read and declare his word, do that. I did know that the following, uh, you know, the following week I shared on Saturday and then on Monday, there it was. Yeah. So the Lord is on your side. You need to know that, that you're more than a conqueror. You, you fight from the point of victory, but you still need, you need to travel at a place of prayer. We are more than conquerors. Second Chronicles 32, Second Chronicles 32, 6, and also these came heavily. And he set captains of war. This was Hezekiah, King Hezekiah. And this shows you how God really fight for his people. And he set captains of war, of war over the people and gathered them together to him in the street of the gate of the city and spake comfortably to them, saying, just comfortably, I know we are going to battle, but you guys listen. Be strong and courageous. Be not be afraid, not dismayed for the king of Assyria, nor for the nor for all the multitude that is with him. For there be more with us than with him. Eight, with him is an arm of flesh. Mm, they're just human beings. Us. You know, and the people are uh, arm of flesh, but we but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. If they listened to the words of a king, how much will you listen to the word that has come to you? You know, the Lord has ministered. They rested on, upon the words of Hezekiah. Are you going to rest on the word of God? You know, the word of God. You have your promise, right? It is time to the next to move to the next level. Child of God, you need to travel.
you need to travel father in the mighty name of jesus i thank you i honor you and i adore you thank you because of your word my father that we need to travel that we need to stay at the place of prayer that we need to disconnect myself and i surrender my listener this our jehovah lord we disconnect ourselves and we lose ourselves from any generational issue any generational or bloodline issue that could be hindering us from receiving our blessing in jesus mighty name we declare and decree my father that the enemy has no place over our blessing in jesus mighty name we lose ourselves from generational issues in jesus mighty name we soak ourselves in the, in the blood of jesus lord we soak ourselves in you my father in the mighty name of jesus i cover this word with the blood of jesus oh father and any kind of a counter attacks my father i destroy them and dismantle them in the mighty name of jesus i declare and decree that there is no weapon fashioned against that shall prosper whether physical or spiritual my father we declare none of them shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. We declare that we are more than conquerors, O God. We declare that we are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus, O God. Would you hold our hands, my Father, and help us to travel at the place of prayer? We stand against the King of Pasha, who may be holding, uh, uh, who may be holding hostage our blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare and decree the fire of our Holy Ghost, King of our glory, covering our blessing, Jehovah, covering every blessing that has our names on them, my Father. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We declare it is well with us, my Father. It is well with our blessing jehovah that we shall receive them wholly packaged my father as you had purposed in the heavens in the mighty name of jesus take your place uh, take preeminence and take full charge uh, in the mighty name of jesus father we release our servant to you may you help us my god to wrestle like a uh, like a jacob deem my father to wrestle like uh, also elijah who prayed and traveled at the place of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, O God. Father, we cover our blessings unto you, King of all glory. And we are ready to receive our blessings to the glory and to the honor of your name. Be glorified, be magnified, and be lifted high to the glory and honor of your name in Jesus' mighty name. We do pray, we trust, and we believe. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for waiting until the end. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you to all of you. I really, really do appreciate you so much, and I do not take you for granted if you haven't subscribed yes the reason why we tell people to, to subscribe not for anything but to uh to allow or to give room uh to the much people who can uh, who can see the video or what we are sharing you know to create a room for 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 people who can see the many people who can view what we have shared and this is the word of god this is the word of god you know um let me not say that, uh, but we thank God for everything. Thank you so, so much for, for coming and for always encouraging me, for, you know, praying with me. And thank you. Thank you. I always pray for you. And may God bless you. Please travel at the place of prayer. Travel until you get hold of your blessing. Disconnect yourself. Lose yourself from any generational issue that could be holding you back. Cheers. I love you all. See you next time. Bye.